Well, good morning, good night, good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Philbert's YouTube. This is also Philbert's mod show off of the Animal Bikes mod by Nobis. The first thing you should know about this mod is that you can spawn in animal bikes uh, with the following crafting recipes that you will be seeing very soon. Now, each of these bikes is randomly colored and has a 20% chance of spawning the baby version of the corresponding animal, if it has one. And the baby animal is actually slightly decreased in each of the normal animal's stats. You can dye each of these animals with uh, any kind of dye you want to make your own personal uh, animals. Oh my god, blue is a cow! Blue is a house! Oh my god, blue is everything! The first animal bike is the cow. It has standard walking speed and can jump two blocks high. The next animal bike is the creeper. Now when this thing is punched, it will explode. Of course, there is now a uh, derby glitch where it will not disappear. Let's kind of rave there for a little bit. Then we have the squid bike. The squid bike goes slow on land, but really fast in the water, as you can see right here. Now, because this uh, the 1.3 client to server things, when the squid is on land, it will kind of clip into the ground. Don't worry about this; it has the same effect as normal. It'll just kind of traverse a little bit awkwardly. But yes, of course, in water, it's speedy, and you can see all the little, little bubbles being produced by little baby bubbles. And as you can see right here. Clippage. Major clippage. Stop showing me all the clippage! Yes, ride my clippy squid into the sunrise. Now we're on to the wolf bike. The wolf bike has the standard walking slash running speed. However, if it sees a mob, it will be forced to go after it by the natural predator instinct. Unless you're holding a bone in your hand. Which means the bone is kind of like a leash. If you're holding a bone, it won't attack. If you don't hold the bone, it will attack. It'll target the nearest mob. You know, if you can see right there, it actually gets a little bit darker coating detail. The chicken bike can be used to flutter down from high surfaces and reduce your fall time. And the sheep bike. The sheep bike is cr pretty much the fastest bike, but we'll be going over the fastest one, the next one. But it's the fastest bike that can be controlled. Best used as an actual bike. Uh, normal jumping height and... Oh, look at that. Hey, look, video sheep is over there. Hey, video sheep. Hey, I'm riding a sheep with... Hey, look at this. I think these two could make good friends, video sheep and, and my normal bike sheep. Aw, look at you two. Oh, you're so cute together. And like I was saying, the pig bike. The pig bike, despite my uh, custom texture to make its eyes spin, is extremely fast. Warning, once you get on the pig, it will not stop. This is me not pressing any keys, just moving my mouse and jumping. Now, this is me when I am not, when I'm pressing the key that it's going towards. Super Speed Go! A spider bike can be used to climb up walls of any height. This next bike is the gas bike. Don't expect to spawn in the overworld. You can't. Must be in the nether. But when it is spawned in the nether, you can fly around on the gas bike simply by pressing space to go up and shift to go down. When you hold gunpowder in your hand and right click anywhere, well, decently around the gas, you'll be shooting a gas fireball. Which, as you can expect, it reacts as if a gas fireball normally would. If you fire enough fast enough, you can actually make it so the fireballs hit other fireballs and create explosions sending the fireballs everywhere. And fireballs, 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 I can't say it enough. Here we have the Easter Edition's Bunny Bike. This bunny bike, after walking for a certain amount of time, can randomly lay an egg. Or it could randomly lay a TNT block. But don't worry, it only hurts entities. So, well, I guess do worry if you're on, um, if you're on survival. But if you're in creative like I am, don't worry about it. It'll just hurt the bunny crazy monster well you know it's not like i didn't like bury my bunny bike in like the hole in the deep hole <coughs> and now for the dino bike now this bike is actually interesting because you need a different type of item that's not currently in vanilla minecraft in order to craft it you need fossils which is crafted with what with some bone and some coal in the crafting table randomly now the animal now the dino bike is very interesting you can either get a pterodactyl which is uh, a flying bike which you know space to go up shift to go down now, the thing with all dino bikes is you can actually run into a mob and they will pick them up. And you just press shift to drop them. 
Now this right here is a Triceratops. Same effect as normal dinos, except it can't fly. And lastly, we have the other dinosaur that I don't know what it's called, but it looks the best. And of course, you can just pick stuff up with it. I, I just kind of like it the most, because look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Those, look, look at the way it's holding that chicken. Oh my god. Look at those eyes. Oh, I love it. Now this part is for any of you bronies out there. This is the pony bike. Craftable with diamonds. Oh my god. But when you craft it, you can spawn in a little pony. Now if it has a unicorn on uh, well, a horn on its head, it'll be able to produce rainbows wherever it goes. If it has wings, as you could probably imagine, it will be able to fly with the space bar to go up, shift to go down, general controls, of course. And if it has uh, none of these features, just no wings, no horn, it will be a normal pony. And these can actually be ridden around like normal. Except a very interesting feature is that as they walk, they'll randomly place flowers. Yeah, flowers! I think the rest of the bikes do that too. But as you can see, there is a lot of diversity between them all. I mean, there are so many different ponies in this. Amazing. Now, you can actually get some ponies that have both wings and horns, which create a neon effect. And here's for the Enderman bike, which looks like a table. This here is the Enderman bike. It takes from the custom, as all animal bikes do, they take from the texture from your texture pack. So mine, yes, you did just see it blink. My Enderman bike blinks. Hell yeah. But anyway, uh, about the Enderman bike. When you press the space bar, this Enderman bike will actually teleport. And when you do teleport, his mouth will open up wide and loud. Wait, just really wide. He can also walk up uh, one block high things automatically without having to jump. So you won't have to worry about that. But what about the teleporting? He'll just kind of randomly teleport in his general area. This here is the dragon bike. Possibly my favorite bike. This dragon bike is awesome. As you can see, on land, it actually looks like it's walking. While on air, it actually has the correct flying animation. Which is just beautiful. Both on land, on air, this thing is awesome. If you hold the flint and steel in your hand and right click on the dragon, you'll actually be able to shoot fire and burn all entities or or all terrain if you want to edit that in the config. Wait, no! Video! Wait! Video sheep! Oh no! Video sheep, no! No video sheep! No! Video sheep! No! Oh no! No video sheep! No, video sheep, you've been in so many of my videos. Oh no! I will place this wall block in memory of you. Video sheep, no! Okay, that'll do. Up now is the Notch Bike. But yes, a bike designed specifically off of uh, Minecraft's inventor. This Notch Bike is is rideable, is 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 is, 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 is rideable, and it can go up a one block high thingy without having to jump. But when you press spacebar, you will shoot apples. But don't shoot too many or I'll turn into evil notch. Run away! No. No. Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! This here is, is the reindeer bike. When you ride on the stretch back, you can actually fly and produce a snow particle effect below you. Space to go up, shift to go down, general flying controls. However, there is a twist to this rain uh, to this reindeer bike. If you dye it, it changes the color of its nose, making you so you can create a Rudolph bike. And presenting the snow golem bike, my probably least favorite bike, mainly because it produces snow everywhere it goes, creating a ugly piss walk thingy. Anyway, uh, it can automatically go up one block high surfaces, but its spacebar effect is that it can shoot snowballs at a turret rate. That cacti looked at me funny! And last but not least, we got the hunky chunky iron golem. When pressing spacebar, he'll throw his arms up in the air like he just don't care, and throw up any mobs that are around him. So yeah guys, thank you all for watching. Um, this has been the review of the Animal Bikes mod by Nopus. If you actually want to see more stuff by Nopus, check out my channel. Uh, because he actually does quite a few videos with me, the guy who created the Animal Bikes mod. So yeah, guys, definitely check out his stuff for people on my channel, for people on his mod thread, check out my videos. Yeah, this is vice versa, hell yeah, cross-contamination of epic pluggingness. And yeah, I'm flying over my giant dragon on a normal dragon that's flying backwards because it's part hummingbird. And so yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. And do 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 see ya!
around. <laughs>